everybody. This is your Baby Pac-Man read-along book. Now, every time you hear the Energizer sound, it means it's time to turn the page in your storybook. Now, remember, when you hear the Energizer sound, turn the page. Everyone loves Christmas time. It's that special time when children all over the world spend their days ice skating, having snowball fights with friends, and dreaming of Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve is that wonderful night when Santa Claus comes sliding down the chimney carrying a bag of beautifully wrapped presents. Well, this is the story of a Christmas that was very special for baby Pac-Man. It was the day before Christmas and Pacville was alive with holiday excitement. The department stores were filled with Pac people. It seemed everyone was in search of that special last minute gift for their favorite friends and relatives. Pac-Man and Miss Pac-Man had long ago finished their Christmas present shopping. Why, they had already trimmed the Christmas tree, hung the stockings over the fireplace, and even baked chocolate chip cookies for Santa Claus. <laughs> Baby Pac-Man, however, had spent the weeks before Christmas skating on the ice ponds, building snow forts, and playing with his friends. Every day, Baby Pac-Man would think to himself, this is the day I will go shopping for Pac-Dad and Pac-Mom. But every day he would see his friends playing and forget all about shopping. On the morning of Christmas Eve, Baby Pac-Man left his house and headed for the Pacville department store to buy his presents. On his way to the store, he had to pass by the pond where he saw a gang of his friends laughing and frolicking on the ice. As he watched them play, he noticed a huge banner stretched over the pond. It read, Christmas Speed Skating Championships Today. Below the banner, he could see the skaters lining up at the starting line. Baby Pac-Man decided he would stay just for a few minutes and watch the races. On your marks, get set, go! The skaters were off. His friend Scooter was in the lead, but Clyde the Ghost was catching up. There was such excitement with skates flying and ice sparkling. What fun! Baby Pac-Man and all his friends cheered and cheered as Scooter won the first race. Baby Pac-Man loved the races. He decided to stay a few minutes longer, but the few minutes turned into hours. Oh my gosh, exclaimed Baby Pac-Man. I have to get to the department store and buy my presents for Pac-Mom and Pac-Dad. Gee, Baby Pac-Man, said Scooter, it's too late. The department store closed early today because it's Christmas Eve. Oh no, cried Baby Pac-Man. I've been so selfish with my time that I don't even have a present for Mom and Dad. What can I do? I have an idea, Baby Pac-Man. My parents always tell me that the presents they like the best are the ones I make for them myself. Maybe you could make them a special Christmas surprise. <laughs> what a good idea, said Baby Pac-Man. But what could I make? He thought and thought. Let's see. I could make a picture frame for Pac-Mom and a coat rack for Pac-Dad. But gee... I would really like to make a gift that Pac-Mom and Pac-Dad would both like. Suddenly he had a great idea. I know, he shouted and dashed off to begin his project. Hi, Pac-Dad and Pac-Mom, he shouted as he ran into the house and down the stairs to the basement. Pac-Mom and Pac-Dad heard all sorts of noise coming from the basement. Hammering, scraping, and sawing. What on earth is baby Pac-Man doing down there, they wondered. He must be fixing his sled or building something with his blocks. They had no idea he was working on their Christmas surprise. After hours of work and many trips up to his room for supplies, baby Pac-Man was finally finished. He found a big box and carefully placed the surprise into the box. He then wrapped the box with a satin ribbon and cherry paper into a Christmas delight. Smiling with pride, he gingerly grabbed the box, brought it upstairs, and carefully placed it beneath the tree. Well, look at this, Pac-Man, said Miss Pac-Man. Baby Pac-Man put that huge present under the tree. What could it be? It was late now. Baby Pac-Man was tired after such a long day of fun and hard work. As soon as he lay down in his cozy bed, he fell fast asleep and had a candy cane sweet dream all night long. Morning came early, as it always does on Christmas Day. Baby Pac-Man rushed to the tree and opened with joy all the presents which Santa had left for him. New skates, 
crayon and coloring books, warm new mittens for the winter cold. Oh, what fun! But he couldn't wait until Pack Mom and Pack Dad opened their Christmas surprise. Finally, the time arrived. <laughs> Pack Mom carefully removed the pretty satin ribbon and the cheerful Christmas wrapping paper and opened the box. Inside was a huge chest painted brilliant red and green, the colors of Christmas. On the chest were the words, A Treasure Chest of Christmas Love. Pack Dad opened the chest. Inside was a large handmade trophy that said, To the World's Greatest Mom and Dad. Oh, baby Pac-Man, how sweet, said Pac-Mom. Merry Christmas. That's not all, beamed baby Pac-Man. Look inside the trophy. Carefully placed inside the trophy was a piece of rolled up paper. Pack Dad read it aloud for Pac Mom. Dearest Mom and Dad, you are truly the greatest. I wanted to buy you a really great gift, but I kept putting it off until finally it was too late. I decided to build you this trophy, and guess what? I couldn't wait to give it to you. It truly is just as good to give as to receive. I have filled the trophy with some extra little gifts for you. Merry Christmas. Love, Baby Pac Man. <laughs> Resting neatly in the trophy were smaller pieces of paper, each tied with a different color ribbon. One by one, they read the messages. I will shovel the snow each day for Pack Dad. I will wash the dishes after dinner for Pack Mom. I will take out the garbage for Pack Dad. I will clean the windows for Pack Mom. I will wash the Pack Mobile for Pack Dad. Pack Mom and Pack Dad were very proud of their son. This was truly a wonderful Christmas. They all sat down for their special Christmas dinner of roast turkey, sweet potatoes, and of course, a package of Pac-Man power pellets for dessert. In the center of the table sat the trophy that Baby Pac-Man had made. They would never forget this special Christmas and Baby Pac-Man's Christmas surprise. Merry Christmas!